Hello, and welcome back to Profiting Diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Everything you need to know about Profiting Diary is down in the description box below. How to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with myself. Let's unravel. Let's bring out your God-ordained self, right? You have a destiny over your life. Many distractions, many things have come to take you away from that. It's my job to get you back on course. So sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouragement call. PD Society Circles, we meet every Sunday. Last Sunday, we talked about sorcery and witchcraft and the witches around you and how to discern the things that may be attacking you. Um, so join us. Also, I have my spring collection, my summer collection out. So check out some little activewear sets and different things that I have at Key Witnesses as well. You can get you some praying or you'll get your prophetic diary. Just go to the website, check it out. You'll enjoy it. I have another word. This is a part two um, from this morning. And we're talking about distractions and, and it, any a distraction is anything that pulls you away from God, right? We see Martha, Martha and Mary, Mary sits at Jesus' feet. Martha is super busy, distracted with good works, trying to figure it out, trying to work for Jesus' approval, trying to work for Jesus' love. She's super distracted. And Mary simply sat at his feet. And some of us think we need three jobs. Some of us think we need to do all these things for God to love us. Well, if I don't do this, he's not going to bring me a husband. If I don't do this, he's not going to bless me. And God is simply saying, Mary, do what Mary did. Follow Mary. And just in this season of your life, just get rid of the distractions. Get rid of the people. Get rid of your over here, over there, and trying to make things happen on your own, trying to figure things out. You don't want to sit alone because you don't want to feel lonely. You don't just want to sit in his presence because you don't want to feel the isolation. But in that isolation is where you'll find your purpose and your destiny and the things that you're supposed to be working on. You'll realize that the reason why you're isolated and the reason why you feel lonely is because God wants you to write that book. He wants you to start doing the things that start that ministry. You'll realize like, oh, I'm still single and I'm still here because I'm like Ruth. I got to do what I got to do before my husband is presented to me because I know my husband's going to be presented to me because God promised me a kingdom marriage. But he's also saying that you're too distracted with good works, even though it feels like you're doing the right things and taking care of the right things. Sometimes, Mary, you got to understand that those distractions are the very thing that's keeping you from your promise, from the will of God, the things that he wants you to do in this season, this summer. I don't believe this is a summer where we need to be all over the place. I believe that God is calling us, calling the remnant to be like Mary and sit at his feet and prepare for the seasons to come. Right when it gets warm out, I notice in Prophet Diary people, not too many people are showing up like before. But for my Marys that are out there, I'm telling this is a season to be in your word. This is a season to study your word. This is a season to pray. This is a season where you are seeking the Lord. This is not a Martha season where you're all over the place doing this, doing that for everyone. No, you need to be serving the Lord in the way that He has you to do that, and it's at His feet. And while you do that, just like Ruth rested at Boaz's feet, as you're resting at his feet, God will cause your purpose to be startled. He caused Boaz to be startled. And Boaz woke up and realized what was right next to him. Your purpose and your blessings are going to wake up and realize that you're right at his feet. So I just wanted to let you guys know that those distractions are slowing you down. Don't be distracted with good works. Don't be distracted in this season with men and women and all these things trying to fix people. No. All right, so if you feel led to someone to this word, you believe in, trust in God, hashtag no more distractions. I'll see you guys a little later, later on the live. God bless.